do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos The programmable keyboard display controller, its IC number is 82279. It was designed by Intel to interface the keyboard with the microprocessor. That is why its name is programmable keyboard display controller. Means whenever we want to interface the keyboard with the central processing unit or the microprocessor, then we use as an interface the programmable keyboard display controller. So we can say that if it is the CPU or the microprocessor, and it is the keyboard or the display unit, then as an intermediate or as an interface, we will have here the 8279 programmable keyboard display controller so whenever we want the cpu and the keyboard they want to transfer some data or they want to communicate with each other so this communication will takes place with this 8279 okay so any transfer of data it will take place via this 8279 so we can say that this programmable keyboard display controller 8279 it interfaces a keyboard with a cpu or processor now what is the function of this 8279 whenever any key is pressed on the keyboard then this 8279 it will scan that which key is pressed and if any key is pressed on the keyboard then it will transfer the relative response of that key to the cpu so that cpu will get to know that this key has been pressed on the keyboard and the function which the cpu has to be performed will be given to it by the 8279 so this 8279 it scans the keyboard and check that if any key is pressed and if it is so then it is going to transfer the response to the CPU So this 8279 it is basically scanning the keyboard and it is identifying that if any key is pressed on the keyboard and if it is pressed if any key is pressed on the keyboard then it will send the relative response of the pressed key to the CPU. So this is the function of the 8279 programmable keyboard display controller. Now let us study some of the features of this 8279 IC. As the name programmable keyboard display controller says that this is a controller which is used to interface the keyboard and the display devices to the CPU. So we can say that it is uh, interfacing both the keyboard, uh, keyboard and the display devices to the microprocessor based systems. So its feature is that it can have simultaneous 
keyboard and the display operations keyboard we know that uh, keyboard is, is an input device through the keyboard the user it is uh, inputting the data to the cpu it is giving the data to the cpu okay so keyboard it is an input device and display devices they are the output devices like the monitor printer these are the output devices so both the input and output devices they can be connected or they can be interfaced with the microprocessor based systems so we can say that 8279 it allows simultaneous keyboard and display operations One of the two, uh, one of the modes of the A279 is the scanned keyboard mode, and one of the modes is scanned sensor mode. So these modes allow to scan the keyboard, which is an input device, and the sensors or the display devices. So it is allowing both the keyboard and the display operations. Next feature is that it has a eight character. As I have said that the A279 it scans that uh, the keyboard and it checks that if any key is pressed on the keyboard. So the information about the opening and closure of the keys that whether it is pressed or not that information it is stored in some memory. So this memory in the A279 it is a 8 character keyboard FIFO RAM and uh, 8 character means 8 bytes can be stored in this RAM. And at one time and uh, this is first in first out this FIFO stands for first in first out that means the character which is first uh, stored into the memory that will be the first to get out of the memory means to uh, as an output of the memory so first in first out memory and it is an eight character keyboard memory okay eight bytes can be stored Similarly, a RAM is there for the display devices also. So here the RAM it is of 16 character means 16 bytes. So 8 characters, 8 bytes can be stored in the keyboard RAM and 16 characters can be stored on the display RAM. Now next feature of this uh, 8279 is that right or left entry 16 byte display RAM. Now in the 8 character keyboard FIFO its characteristic is that the character will be stored in the RAM as first in first out. They will uh, use this uh, feature that the first character that will be put in the memory that will be the first element to get out of the memory. Okay that is first in first out. Suppose it is the memory here the first element is stored. So this first element will be the first to get out of the memory okay now in the 16 character display ramp this ramp follows the right or left entry okay means the characters will be enter either from the right hand side or from the left hand side okay this we will get to, uh, to understand more when we will study the modes of 8279 next feature is the programmable scan timing As it is uh, this 8279 it is uh, scanning the keyboard and the display devices so this is scan time it can be programmed means we have instructions we have software instructions through which we can program this 8279 uh, program uh, this controller that is why it is known as programmable keyboard display controller because uh, programs or we can say that the instructions and uh, command words can be written in this 8279 so that we can 
can modify it or we can use it for various applications so these were the features of the 8279 now let us come to the topic that how we can interface the 8279 with the cpu okay because it is acting as an interfacing device between the central processing unit and the keyboard and display devices so how we can interface both the cpu and the 8279 let us see There are two modes or in which or we can say that there are two ways in which the keyboard is interfaced with the CPU. One is the interrupt mode. And second is the hold mode. Now the function of this 8279 it is to scan the keyboard and display devices. So in the interrupt mode the uh, microprocessor if any key is pressed on the keyboard then this 8279 it is going to interrupt the microprocessor and it will request the microprocessor that stop your current operation and then first see that this key has been pressed on the keyboard and you have to perform the relative response of that key so when uh, this mode interrupt mode it says that the microprocessor will be interrupted every time a key is pressed So in this mode, the microprocessor, it will be interrupted. Interrupted means a, a service will be requested. Means we want the service of the microprocessor, uh, of this uh, CPU or the microprocessor that we want your service. We want that you uh, make a response according to the key which is pressed. So processor is requested service only if any key is pressed. Otherwise, the CPU will continue its main task. So CPU will not be disturbed until and unless any key is pressed. If CPU is doing some work, it will continue doing its main task only when if any key is pressed, then only the CPU will be interrupted. So that is the interrupt mode. Now comes to the hold mode. So in the poll mode, the CPU, it is going to periodically means at a certain interval of time, it is going to check the internal flag of the 8279, the keyboard controller. And if that flag is set or reset, according to that, it will make that the key is pressed or not okay so it is periodically checking the internal flag of 8279 to check that whether the key has been pressed or not if this internal flag is not set it means the key is not uh, pressed and if it is set it means the key is pressed okay so uh, the every time it is not necessary that every time the key is pressed okay it may be possible that it is pressed or it is not pressed it is just checking periodically making a check at every at certain interval of time suppose like after every two seconds it is checking the flag that whether the key is pressed or not
okay so cpu is always like we can say that it is busy in checking the every time it has to check the internal flag okay so a task has been assigned to the cpu that you have to check the internal flag whereas in the interrupt mode the cpu will be disturbed only when the key is pressed it can continue doing its the its main task but in pole mode the cpu is every time disturbed every time it has to check at certain intervals of time that the key is pressed or not so this is the way in which the 8279 it is interfaced with the cpu one is the interrupt mode and second is the pulled mode Now let us come to the topic that how does this 8279 works okay how it scans the keyboard and how it is going to uh, transfer or send the response of the key to the CPU let us see that how does this 8279 work. Now the key, uh, this A279, it is interfacing the keyboard and the display devices with the CPU. So if we see a simple keyboard, then it consists of 64 keys and these 64 keys, they are interfaced with the CPU. Now this keyboard it consists of maximum 64 keys okay and these keys they are interfaced with the CPU by using the key codes. So every key it will have a key code associated with it. Now when the key is pressed then the 8279 it is going to transfer the key code into the memory of the keyboard and this 8279 okay. So So when the key is pressed, then the 8279, it is going to store the key code of that pressed key into the 8 byte FIFO RAM. It is going to store that key code into the 8 byte FIFO RAM and this RAM, it is accessed by the CPU. So the CPU, it is going to read this 8 byte FIFO RAM and through the key code, it is going to know that this key has been pressed and it has to perform the function which is associated with that key and cross me okay. mm -hmm. start Now, if more than, uh, because one key is pressed at a time, suppose that uh, many keys are pressed and their key codes are stored in the 8 byte FIFO RAM, then that condition, because it can store only 8 byte, okay? So, 8 byte, more than 8 bytes uh, keys are pressed, then that condition is known as overrun. So if more than 8 keys or 8 characters are entered in the FIFO because this FIFO at a time it can save only 8 byte means 8 characters it can save and if more than 8 characters are entered in the FIFO it means that more than 8 keys are pressed at a time and uh, this is when the overrun status is set. So, so whenever the 8 keys or more than 8 keys are pressed at a time then this overrun status is set.
now when a key is pressed then that uh, then the key code of that key is saved in the fifo and now if the fifo ram it contains a valid key entry means it shows that a key has been pressed valid we are saying because whenever eight keys are pressed or more than eight keys are pressed then that is not a valid key entry so here we are saying that if the fifo it contains a valid key entry then the cpu is interrupted in an interrupt mode else the cpu checks the status in the polling mode to read the entry okay as i have said in the that how we can interface the keyboard with the cpu i have explained the two modes interrupt mode and the polling mode so here i am saying that if a fifo it is containing a valid key entry then two things can happen in the interrupt mode the cpu will be interrupted or in the polling mode the cpu is going to check the status of the flag okay so here i have written that if fifo contains a valid key entry then the cpu is interrupted in an interrupt mode else the cpu it will check the status in the polling mode to read the entry okay so the cpu is getting the information that this key has been pressed and the response of that key is provided by the cpu means the function which is associated with the key which is pressed will be performed by the cpu okay Now once this uh, entry which is there in the FIFO it is read by the CPU then the FIFO it is updated and the key entry it is pushed out of the FIFO to generate space for the new entries. So suppose this is the FIFO RAM and in this FIFO the information about the key which is pressed it is stored okay suppose this information is XXS. Now this information it will be read by the CPU and once the CPU has read the information about this key pressed and it has read it then this uh, entry which is there in the FIFO it will be pushed out of this FIFO so that the new key code entries or the new entries of the key which is pressed that will be stored in the FIFO okay so in this way the 8279 it is working it is first scanning the keyboard that uh, if any key is pressed or not and if it identifies that a key has been pressed on the keyboard then it is going to store the key code which is related with that key pressed into the FIFO RAM and then this RAM will be read by the CPU. CPU will get to know that this uh, key code is there in the FIFO RAM and this key code is associated with this key. So uh, that function which is associated with the key will be performed by the CPU and then this FIFO RAM will be uh, made empty. This entry will be pushed out of the FIFO RAM so that the new entries can get space into the memory. They can be stored in this RAM. Okay. So in this way the 8279 programmable keyboard display controller works. So in this video we studied about some of the features of 8279 then we studied that how we can interface the keyboard with the CPU the two modes interrupt mode and the poll mode we studied and then we studied that how the 8279 programmable keyboard display controller works. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.